This video is going to show you how to find the area of any stage of a quadratic pattern. So when we're talking about area, you need to multiply your length and your width together. So the first thing you're need, going to need to do is look for a pattern that involves your length and your width. And the key to this is looking at what we call our starter square. Now your starter square is going to have dimensions that matches your stage. So for example, stage one, your starter square is going to be a one by one square. And it's important for you to draw that in. In stage two, we're going to have a two by two square. So again, we'll draw in that starter square. In stage three, we want our starter square to match those dimensions, so a three by three square. And then finally, I'll show you for stage four, we would have a four by four square. Now this starter square, hang on, let me finish drawing it. We're going to name the sides, the length and the width of the starter square, x. Okay? No matter whether it's stage one or stage two, whatever, the length and the width are going to be labeled x. And we're going to do that because once we come up with a formula, we'll be able to substitute any stage number in for x. Now, remember, for area, we're talking length times width. So if we did x times x, that would give us just this area of the starter square, but we have a lot more to our shape than that. So what we need to do next is look for what we're going to call our leftovers. We're going to look for our leftover rows and our leftover columns. So I'm going to start up here. If I look here, I have one extra column right here that I'm highlighting in red. So the length of the top of the shape is really x plus one more column. And what I want you to notice is that pattern, that x plus 1, is going to be consistent. So for a stage two, square, or stage 2 pattern, we've got our starter square plus one extra column. In stage 3, we have our 3 for our starter square, plus we have this one extra column. And what you're going to notice in a quadratic pattern is it will always be the same. You'll have the same number of extra rows and columns every time as your shape progresses. So if we look now at our extra rows, we'll see down here we have one, two, three extra rows. So this side of my shape is going to be my starter square plus three more rows. And again, notice it's the same. We ex always have three extra rows. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now once we have our shapes labeled like this, we can then go back and write our um, expression that we can use to find any stage value. So the way we write our expression is we're going to look at the top here. I'm going to call the top here my length. And that measurement, or the dimension, is x plus 1. And you'll notice it's the same no matter which stage you look at. The top always has a dimension of x plus 1. It's your stage length plus one more row. And then I'm going to look down on the side here, and this dimension here is x plus 3. So again, it's your starter square plus 3 more rows. Now this expression is going to help us when it comes to finding any stage we want. So if it says how many tiles would stage 7 have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these x's with my stage number, which is 7. So what it would mean is, if you think about the top of this shape, my starter square would be 7 squares plus that one extra column. And then going down the side, my starter square would be 7 plus I would have 3 extra rows. And then to find how many total tiles would be in here, I just do this problem. 7 plus 1 is 8. 7 times, I'm sorry, 7 plus 3 is 10. So then we have 8 times 10. That would give me 80 tiles in a stage 7 shape. Okay, so let's try one more. So again, we're going to start off with our starter square here. And remember, for stage 1, my starter square has a 1 by 1 dimension, x and x. Stage 2, 2 by 2. And we're going to label these sides x. Stage 3 would be a 3 by 3. And stage 4 is going to be a 4 by 4. And again, the x's represent the stage number. So now we have to figure out how many extra rows and columns. Well, if I look here, I have one extra column. Always one extra column. We're not counting the individual squares. It's really important for you to remember we're counting extra rows and extra columns. Now, along the bottom here, there's nothing, so it's like a plus zero. I don't have any extra rows. OK. 
Okay? And again, that pattern's consistent throughout our whole shape. So now when it comes time to write this formula, this area, I'm going to take my top dimension, which is x plus 1, and I'm going to take my side dimension, which right here is x plus 0. Now, this could be written if we wanted to. We could write x plus 1, and then x plus 0 can just be written as x. Okay? So either way, it's still length times width. All right, so now for stage 10. In order to find stage 10, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 10, and I'm going to plug it in for my values of x. So stage 10 would mean my top would be 10 for my starter square plus one more extra column. And then my side would be 10 for my starter square plus zero more extra rows. So this is going to give me an area of 11 times 10, which would give me a total area of 110 squares. And we'd get the same thing if we did it this way. So I'd plug in my 10 for my x. And then when I did my math here, 10 plus 1 is 11. And this is just 10. And you can still see. We get the same answer. And that's how you can use, um, you can find the area of any stage of a quadratic pattern.